So after a year and a half of almost no traveling, except for a week's drive to Germany last summer, we were finally on an airplane again. Before we booked, we'd never heard of the island of Sekynthos. But then there are hundreds of Greek islands. I've been on a few of them before, but that was over 20 years ago. It's so nice to be reminded again of how beautiful and relaxing it is here. This field of melons, watermelons mostly, is right next to our room and is part of the hotel grounds. They grow many of their own vegetables and fruits, which is a nice touch of sustainable tourism, if there is such a thing. This is the view from the top of our hotel. Our room is a bit further down. And here you can see where they grow some of their vegetables and herbs. I saw chilies and peppers and various leafy greens. Then we went sailing along the northern coast and saw what they call the Blue Caves. The water contains high levels of sulfur, which explains the color. In places it was so turquoise it looked almost fake, but it was absolutely clear and clean. You can perhaps sense here that the waters were quite choppy. I don't have any footage of my swimming in the sea here, but it was nothing short of amazing. It beats going to the beach any day. Down there you can see my partner and my daughter swimming and uh, in this next photo that my daughter took you can see how we walked, most of us, during these choppy seas. It cracked me up. And back on land, I'm still mesmerized by the vegetation here. The olive trees, which are everywhere, the hills and valleys, the cypress trees, and here and there a beautiful bougainvillea. So I don't have my microphone with me and the sound's probably going to be a bit bad, but I just wanted to actually demonstrate that I'm here and not just have voiceover during the whole video. Um, I don't know if you can hear the cicadas that are behind me. Cicadas? Cicadas? Anyway, it's just beautiful here in Greece and sometimes they're so loud, the cicadas, those um, insects that it actually sounds as if there's electricity or something uh, and it's a characteristic sound here i can highly recommend greece and particularly sakynthos if you haven't been it's lovely and i've just had the most excellent meal with uh, chicken souvlaki and potatoes baked in the oven and salad and tzatziki and garlic bread yummy this is the view of uh, tzilivi the little town that is close to our hotel it's really nice here and uh, right now it's quite windy which is one of the reasons why you can actually live with the heat during the day that there's a there's a nice wind because it's at the top of a hill behind these bamboo uh, thingies you can perhaps see a little bit of the hotel and the sunset has just come and gone out there well a little over an hour ago I guess there are about um, 40,000 people living on the island and right now of course there are a few more because the tourists have finally come back which I'm pretty sure all the islanders appreciate uh, including the restaurant owners that we've just uh, visited. Uh, the owner, the guy, the man, his name is Alex and um, it's family run and uh, well if you ever go here it's called Estia and it's really good food. The other day we had moussaka which was also brilliant. We took a taxi into the biggest town on the island, which is called Sakynthos, like the island itself. It was about five kilometers from our hotel and has a population of 12,000. As you can see, the buildings are mostly white or off-white or pastel-colored, which is typical for Greece. And most of them have shutters on their windows to guard against the heat during the summer, which I would say is necessary. A pleasant town to walk around in. A bit of traffic, but not too bad. This is the bay where our boat from the other day sailed from.
We had lunch in town before we headed back, but not before visiting a church where we cooled off a bit and marveled at all the gold, and a Greek Orthodox priest who was sitting in one of the pews. And a final look at our view with the island of Kefalonia there in the background. Thanks for watching.